hello guys welcome to solving solutions on brand channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to look at um, sql and then the um, database manager that we have in qgis now it's actually a standard language used to create and manage databases it starts and update your data you know query your data and the rest of that right good now the db manager is a built-in tool in qgis that provides a geographical interface a graphical interface rather to manage query and interact with a um, special database without leaving qgis we have some tasks that um, we can use the um, db manager to perform on um, qgis so for a start we are going to carry out a few um, queries so you come to QGIS, if you don't actually have a geo package and you have a ship file, you can actually decide to save as what a geo package, right? Good. But one thing to note is that your geo package um, allows for multiple data type, like maybe raster, vector, and maybe different tables and rest of that. So the size limit for the character is um, not limited as that of um, the um, ship file so if you want to use your ship file it's still okay if you want to export to your package it's still okay so we come to database and we have the db manager from the db manager since we need a major package we can right click and then select new connection and then navigate to the folder where we have a job package right good so we open that up and then you can see it here points of interest and then when you use the drop down you see the point of interest so it gives you information about the your package you've loaded this is like the attribute table and then this is the preview remember we told you that it gives you a graphical interface to manage query and interact with your special database without leaving QGIS so you can rightly see that even in the DB manager we have visualized our what our points right good so we now come to the sql window this is where we are going to write those um should i call them the syntaxes or those queries that um we are going to use so we come back here the first of which is we want to select all the hospitals right good so we are selecting from the point of interest that's the table where the feature class is what hospital so this um asterisk shows that we are trying to extract all the information about our interest which is the word the hospital so let's highlight and again the semicolon is to show that that's the end of a particular command that you've written so we copy that and then we come back to the db manager and then we paste whatever we've copied and then we click on execute now you can see that it has extracted from our pys which is what the point of interest table where the f class which is the f class is equal to hospital right good so these are the different names these are the codes the osm id the geometry the feature id remember we told you that it is extracting everything because of what this asterisk that we have used now another thing to notice that you can see that the geometry is in um, should i call it should i call it cacophony now this is the wkt that um, is a well-known text right good so what we are going to do is that we are going to convert this to show the coordinates the way it is supposed to be read so we also have another script which is this second one so we just um, highlight copy and then let's see what happens if we clear this and then we paste that and we execute you now see that um, the geometry is now well displayed right good and then we still have every other information so this is one way you can actually query we have another one we want to use still trying to select from the um, point of interest table where the official class is hospital now you see this first one and this last one are similar the only difference is that this will not extract all the um should i let's come back here this will not extract the fid the well-known test the osm id the code and the rest of that it will only extract what we need and in this case that's what the f class where it is hospital so now let's select that and then 
we clear what we have here and then we paste it there so if we execute you now see that we just have one column that shows the name of the different hospitals right good select name from the point of interest table where the official class is equal to what hospital right good so that's one we um, have where we want to list the names of official where um, the official class is school it's similar to that of the hospital so let's see how this comes up so we clear that and then we paste and we execute right good so you see now that it's similar so if we also come here this is another variant of the listing of the names so we have clear and then we paste that you see now instead of just having one column we have two columns right good so it shows the official class and the different names because we are selecting name and the official class from the point of interest um, table right good so you see we have multiple selections here the name comma the official class so we have the name and the official class from our point of interest table which is this right now finally we are going to carry out some counting so clear and then paste execute now we want to count the number of the different official classes right good so if you look at it we have also grouped them by the official class from the point of interest table right good so we are counting the official class as official count which is what we have there right good so the idea is that these are the different values that are stored under the official class field right so these are the accounts so for the alpine art we have three for the archaeology we have one for attraction we have 72 and then for banks we have 530 and the rest of that so these are the counts for the different objects that are stored under what the feature class so this is actually a preliminary we just want to okay look at how we can use this um, db manager on qgis to um, carry out some sql um, should i call it queries or some sql interaction so we are going to see you subsequently as we delve more into um, some other parts of it so until then keep staying safe and have a fantastic time bye